Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So finally guys, after many all requests, I'm going to start this particular playlist of Django Python Web Framework. Uh, in this video, we'll just go through the introduction with respect to this Django uh, Web Framework and then we'll also try to understand when should you use Django or when should you use Flask. I've already created so many videos with respect to Flask playlist uh, and I hope you have got an idea, uh, you know, how comfortably how easily we can actually work with flask and similarly is in the case of django python web framework it is an amazing framework uh, you know the type of architecture the entire web framework is very much easy to code you know it has a lot of configurations which can be easily set up uh, to implement any custom uh, web development uh, website development or probably you can also use it in the case of machine learning deployment deep learning deployment purpose okay so we'll try to learn that and in this particular video Videos, many videos are going to come we'll try to learn from scratch properly in a better manner okay now let's go and understand this introduction over here so what is Django it is nothing but it is a high level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean pragmatic and design so it is also very loosely coupled guys any type of modules that you want to really bring uh, or any type of apps we basically say it as apps you know whenever you want to introduce into the Django web framework it is very much easy you know uh, built by experienced developers it takes care of much of the hassle of the web development so that you can focus on writing your app without need to reinvent the wheel it is free and open source this is the amazing thing that you know guys it is completely free and open source okay now if I talk about Django it also uses that particular architecture which we call as MVC model view controller okay internally this uses this kind of architecture so if you are familiar with dotnet or Java programming language I hope you know about this particular architecture also now uh, one important point which is basically saying that you will be able to build better web apps now what is this web apps now understand suppose guys if I have an application of Django over here suppose okay now suppose in that particular app we use some kind of GPS services so that can be a completely entire different module I may have multiple services you know so we can build that particular services or modules or apps in a much more better way uh, it will actually help us to also build better uh, in, in, in a quicker way also because the configuration inside this particular application is pretty much amazing okay uh, and yes some of the other functionalities ridiculously fast uh, you can also see that it is secure it also takes security seriously and help developers avoid many common security mistakes um, and it is also scalable okay and these are some of the pro uh, qualities of Django for web framework guys uh, probably uh, I've been learning this uh, and I've actually created around one or two applications I've also done the deployment in machine learning models and deep learning models and I'm also going to show you that specific examples as we go ahead but we are going to do it completely from scratch and easy now let's go ahead and try to understand when should we use Django web framework and when should we use flask first absolute reason if your application is quite large when i say large there will be various models integrated like like authentication probably we are trying to use any third party services probably we are trying to develop many multiple models it can be uh, authentication with the databases pulling the data from the databases for different different functionalities listing of the products you know and they may be different different functionalities you know so we basically say it as modules okay i can have hundred and hundred of modules in my one uh, uh, um, Django web framework uh, application itself you know so whenever you have a huge application definitely go with Django because it will actually help you to handle all those functionalities in a very easy may easy way because uh, you will be able to write the clean code you'll be able to loosely couple all the code so that you know uh, you'll be able to see what all functionalities are happening so that any new person who wants to create something they'll not try to disturb the previously written code instead they can develop their own model and integrate with that particular application if you are planning to use Flask, obviously for a shorter application, guys, uh, a smaller application, you can say, because uh, I've already shown you when I was actually developing Flask app, you know, there are some set of functionalities and learning Flask, I think it's hardly a week time you'll be able to learn it completely. Okay, now this is the major, major difference between this and now you can at least think that when you should go with Flask and Django. Now, the other thing is that. Uh, for the full stack development, uh, Django web framework will be the very good one for them. Obviously, you need to know Python, JavaScript and CSS plus along with HTML. For full stack developer, if they are planning to go it, obviously they will go with Django. Where can Flask be used efficiently? Just understand that guys, sometimes you create some AI modules, right? And those AI modules needs to be integrated with some other application. It may be a web application or mobile application. So what you can do is that you can quickly create APIs. You can quickly create 
create APIs with the help of Flask and expose those ex APIs to those kind of web application or mobile application. In that specific way, you can definitely go with Flask. Again, I'm telling you that will be an entire product. And from that specific product, you want some AI model functionalities. So what you do, you create a model, you deploy that model with the help of Flask and you expose it as an endpoint to that specific web application so that it can actually interact with them and you will be able to, uh, you know, use those specific AI model functionalities. But with respect to Django, you know, uh, you should not be using only for one or two APIs, but instead for the entire application. Probably if there is a scenario that you're creating a AI module that has 100 different APIs or 100 different functionalities, then definitely you should go with the help of Django Web Framework. So I hope you got a specific idea regarding this. So let's go ahead and let's try to see that how we can first of all install the Django library. So here I will just write, uh, first of all, I, I will create my environment. So here I've created my environment already, which is called as development. So this will basically be my environment over here. Now the first thing in this video, we'll see how to install, how to install this. So for installing again, we'll be using pip install and try to use Django. Okay. This is how you have to write capital D J A N G O and just press enter. So once you will be seeing that it'll take some time, but right now the requirement is already satisfied. Now, if you really want to see whether the installation has worked properly or not, just write Django dash admin, right? When you write like this, you'll be able to see all these things, right? All these particular functionalities over here with respect to Django. We'll be discussing about this, uh, you know, as we go ahead in the next class, what all these things are. And in the next video, I'll also try to show you how you can create a sample project and how you can actually run it in the server. Uh, probably you can actually open it in a local host and actually have a look. Okay. So till here, please do it. Uh, this is with respect to the first video of Django and just go through this particular website where you understand what are the main functionalities with respect to Django and how it is done. You can also go through the documentation page, how to do it, what all things are actually there. We'll be referring this as we go ahead and I'll try to show you each and everything. They have an amazing documentation and one amazing thing is that they have everything you can do caching logging sending mails pagination serialization session sitemaps data validation all the amazing core functionalities it already has so definitely you love it when you're learning uh, regarding the Django web Python web framework and obviously I'll be showing you a lot of tutorials as we go ahead so I hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed I'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye